The story of Adam and Eve as told in the book of Genesis is one of the most well-known narratives in human history. The traditional interpretation depicts Eve as being created from Adam's rib, shaping gender roles throughout history. This has often justified a hierarchical view of gender, with men seen as superior and women as subordinate. The belief that women are inherently subordinate to men has been used to justify discrimination and perpetuate harmful stereotypes. However, what if this traditional understanding is based on a mistranslation? What if the Hebrew word zela, often translated as rib, holds a different meaning? This could radically shift our understanding of Eve's creation and its implications for gender roles. The Hebrew language, like many ancient languages, is rich in nuance and layered meanings. Words often carry a depth and complexity that can be challenging to fully capture in translation. Traditionally, Zela has been translated as rib, leading to the widespread interpretation of Eve being formed from Adam's rib. Some argue that the word Zela encompasses a broader range of meanings than simply rib. In other instances within the Hebrew Bible, Zela is used to refer to the side of a mountain, the supporting timbers of a building, or even the chambers of the heart. These diverse usages suggest that Zela does not necessarily denote a rib but rather something more akin to side or half. This alternative understanding opens up a whole new perspective on Eve's creation, one that challenges the traditional hierarchical view of gender. Moving beyond the traditional translation of Zela as rib offers a refreshing and empowering perspective on the creation narrative. By understanding Zela as side, we begin to see Eve not as a secondary creation but as an equal partner, formed from the very essence of Adam himself. This interpretation aligns with the concept of humanity being created in the image of God. If both men and women are created in the divine image, it follows that they are inherently equal in worth and dignity. The idea of Eve being formed from Adam's side emphasizes this equality, suggesting a mirroring or reflection of the divine image in both male and female forms. This reinterpretation of Zella has the power to transform our understanding of gender roles, moving towards a model of partnership and equality. It challenges us to re-examine long-held assumptions and to embrace a more inclusive and respectful view of the relationship between men and women. The concept of Zella as side resonates deeply with the broader biblical message of equality and partnership between men and women. Throughout scripture we encounter instances where women are depicted not as subordinate beings but as leaders, prophets and individuals of great strength and influence. The very act of creation in the image of God as described in Genesis 1:27, lays the foundation for this understanding of equality. This passage clearly states that both men and women are created in God's image, implying an inherent equality in their nature and purpose. The creation narrative, when interpreted through the lens of Zela as side, aligns perfectly with these broader biblical themes of equality and partnership. It suggests that from the very beginning men and women were designed to coexist and complement one another, not to exist in a relationship of dominance and subordination. Echoes of Equality Women of Valor in Scripture The Hebrew Bible is replete with examples of women who defied societal norms and assumed roles of leadership, influence, and even military prowess. These women were not just passive figures in the background, they were active participants in shaping the course of history. One such example is Deborah, a prophetess and judge who rallied the Israelites to victory against their enemies. Her story is a testament to the strength and wisdom that women can bring to leadership roles. Judges 4, 4 tells us, Now Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Lapidoth, was leading Israel at that time. This passage highlights her dual roles as both a spiritual and political leader. Deborah's leadership was not merely symbolic, she played an active role in military strategy and decision-making. Her guidance was crucial in the Israelites' victory, showcasing her tactical acumen and bravery. Another compelling example is Huldah, a prophetess who was consulted by King Josiah during a time of national crisis. Her wisdom and insight were sought after by the highest authorities of her time. 2 Kings 22, 14 states, So Hilkiah the priest, and Ahikam, and Achbor, and Shaphan, and Asahiah went to Huldah the prophetess, the wife of Shalom. This passage underscores the respect and authority she commanded. These women of valor, through their courage, leadership, and unwavering faith, serve as powerful reminders of the inherent equality and capabilities endowed upon both men and women by their Creator. Their stories continue to inspire and challenge us to recognize and honor the contributions of women in all spheres of life. The Perils of Misinterpretation Shaping perceptions through the ages. The mistranslation of Zella as rib 
has had far-reaching consequences, shaping cultural norms, religious doctrines, and societal structures for millennia. This seemingly minor linguistic discrepancy has contributed to the perpetuation of harmful stereotypes and the justification of inequality between men and women. The image of Eve being created from Adam's rib has been used to reinforce a hierarchical view of gender with men positioned as superior and women as subordinate. Throughout history, this misinterpretation has been used to justify practices such as the denial of education to women, their exclusion from leadership positions, and the expectation of subservience to male authority. The impact of this mistranslation extends beyond the purely societal realm, influencing even personal relationships between men and women. Reclaiming the narrative towards a more inclusive understanding. Recognizing the mistranslation of Zila and embracing the concept of Eve being created from Adam's side opens up a path towards a more inclusive and respectful understanding of gender roles. This shift in perspective is not just a minor adjustment in translation, but a profound rethinking of the foundational stories that shape our cultural and religious identities. It challenges us to confront and dismantle the centuries-old interpretations that have perpetuated inequality and to embrace a view of men and women as equal partners, created in the divine image and endowed with inherent dignity and worth. This new understanding encourages us to see each other not as competitors or subordinates but as co-creators of a shared future. This reinterpretation calls for a re-evaluation of religious teachings, cultural norms and societal structures that have been shaped by the traditional, hierarchical view of gender. It invites religious scholars, community leaders, and individuals alike to revisit and reflect on the texts and traditions that have long been taken for granted. It requires us to challenge long-held assumptions, to engage in open and honest dialogue, and to work towards creating a world where men and women are afforded equal opportunities, respect, and recognition. This journey towards equality is not just about changing laws or policies but about transforming hearts and minds. By reclaiming the true meaning of Zella and recognizing Eve as Adam's equal partner, we can begin to dismantle the harmful legacy of misinterpretation and create a more just and equitable world for all. This is a call to action for everyone to participate in building a society where every individual, regardless of gender, is valued and respected. A Legacy Redefined Embracing the True Message of Creation The story of Adam and Eve, when understood through the lens of Zella as side, offers a powerful message of equality, partnership, and mutual respect. This interpretation challenges the traditional views that have often been used to justify gender inequality and subjugation. It reminds us that men and women were created not to dominate or be dominated, but to complement and support one another, to work together in building a just and compassionate world. This vision of mutual respect and collaboration is essential for fostering a society where everyone can thrive. This reinterpreted narrative has the potential to transform our understanding of gender roles and relationships, both within religious contexts and in the wider world. By re-examining these ancient stories, we can uncover deeper truths that resonate with our modern values of equality and justice. By embracing this more inclusive and empowering interpretation of the creation story we honor the true message of the Bible, a message that affirms the inherent value and equality of all people regardless of gender. This perspective encourages us to see each other as equals, deserving of respect and dignity. As we move forward, let us carry this message of equality and partnership in our hearts, striving to create a world where the legacy of Adam and Eve is not one of division and inequality, but of unity, harmony, and mutual respect. Let us work together to build a future where everyone, regardless of gender, can contribute to and benefit from a just and compassionate society.